Hola there, my amigos. We've traveled far to the local 7-Eleven and picked up Mexican beer. It's white guys trying Mexican beer. The rating system is simple. One is the best and six is the worst. So for our first drink today, we got the Modelo. This is like one of my favorite beers to drink. Modelo's delicious. Mm. Mm. That yeah, is good. It, it is. is. This is nostalgic. This, this, yeah, this has to stay in the top three at least for now. It is good, it's light. It's not very carbonated. All right, fine guys. For now, Modelo gets number three. Let's do the next Mexican beer. All right guys, next up we got the Pacifico. I've actually never had this. No? Have you, have you had this? Uh, yeah, once or twice. I've literally never had this beer. I like the can. The can is cute. This is a lot lighter. This tastes more of like an American beer. It tastes more like a, like a Bud Light mm -hmm. or something like that. Better, It kind of tastes like Coors. It's really light. I, I really like the flavor of the Modelo more. I think it Definitely. has way more character. I think we should just put this at like a number four. <laughs> We're putting it at number four. Let's do the next beer. Next up, we got the Corona. Um, we used to drink a ton of Corona. It's good. It's a beer. <laughs> it kind of feels like you're cheating it a little bit if you do not have a lime. Say that every time we taste these. I don't like yeah. this as much. I think the Pacifico tastes way better. This has kind of a weird taste in the it's back. It's kind of like a flatty. It is a little more flat. Also, um, you can taste the metal in this tin a lot more. Definitely not as much flavors as like the Modelo. I think we should put this uh, to last right now and see uh, what's next. Let's do it. All right, so Corona takes sixth place. Let's do the next beer. <laughs> <laughs> me. All right guys, next up we got the 805 Cerveza. Now this isn't actually made in Mexico. Oops. This is literally made in California. I only picked it up because it says Cerveza and there wasn't that many Mexican beers at the liquor store or at the Greg at the grocery store. I've been drinking a lot this week. I, my brain isn't properly functioning. I just, yeah. Neither is his kidney. <laughs> yeah, my kidney's all types of messed up. Cheers. Ooh, I just love that sound. Love the bottles, it's so much better. I now, like the bottle compared to can. Glass bottles always over can, right? Yeah, yeah, because this is pretty damn good. Oh, this is amazing. But I don't know if it's the bottle Ooh. or the can that is. No, it's that lime. So they added a little lime to it. Gives it a lot of character. It does. It doesn't taste like artificial wine. It tastes like a beer and then like you freshly squeeze some lime juice up into here, huh? Yeah. Like it's this really is... good, it hits good. What do you think this should take? This guy right here, number one, just like me. Let's do the next drink. Is Heineken a Mexican beer? Yeah. I know, I always thought it was like German or something. Right? Yeah. No, it's a little Latin man. Bruh. I don't drink Heineken, but when I do. Oh yeah. No, that's Dos Equis. Oh, that's Dos Equis. This was supposed to be Dos Equis. I meant to buy Dos Equis. <laughs> yeah, this is made in Holland. <laughs> I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer the Heineken. I'm from Poland. All right, guys, so look. <laughs> I thought I picked up Dos Equis, but I picked up Heineken, which is not made in Mexico. On the other side of the ocean, not the right <laughs> one. But, well, let's see if Poland beer, I'm a shit show today. Let's see if the Poland beer is better than Mexican beer, I guess. My God, this is just a shit show. Just I feel show. like this this, this video is pretty much clickbait. At this point, um, just to help my sanity, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, and leave down in the comments what's your favorite beer. And then we'll just grab all of them and battle them all out and see which one's the best. We should. How's your Mexican Heineken? How's my Holland Heineken? <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Heineken's got Yeah, that's like, great. Yeah. Um, I don't really know where we should place this. It's not part of the squad here. It's just an enjoyment beer. Maybe we'll move Corona up and put it in the last just because. Yeah. And, uh, okay guys, I'm just gonna show you now. The next beer is a Budweiser. <laughs> Look, they didn't have that many Mexican beers, and this one said Clamato, so I and enchilada, so I was like, it's Mexican enough for me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's do the next drink. 
Smells uh it could definitely be uh, you know on the job site you see a lot of these in the morning. Oh I kinda like that actually. That's pretty freaking good. That's like a hangover cure all. <laughs> Ooh, that just tastes exactly like a bloody Mary. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be gross. Your initial taste, you're like, ugh, and you're like, ugh, yeah, that's pretty good actually. Yeah, they're pretty good. I don't know if it's gonna be a, a top three candidate. I feel healthy drinking this. Like, I feel like I should have one of these like when I'm at the gym. You know, like, like I'm For just sure. getting my veggies in, and then like one after the run, like, yeah, this is healthy, this is good. So what do you wanna rate this? It's, I don't know, it's, I mean, I think, Stay boozy. That's all I gotta say. Stay boozy. I hope you enjoyed. It's white guys trying Mexican.